In this video, we're going to look at how to set up the tool library in Bobcat. For this, I already have a part drawn on the screen. Now, let's go ahead and look at the tool. So we'll right-click Profile. We'll go to Edit. Now, if I come down to my Rough Tool, I could see here that I'm using System Tool, which, if it finds a tool in the database, it will pull up the tool type or the tool's description. Let's go to Manual Tool and then Select Tool from the database. Here, I could see that I have several tools set up. Most of these are just generic ones. Let's go ahead and add our own. Let's add one that's a carbide insert. We'll cancel. I'm going to cancel out of here. And we'll come under cam part, right click milling tools, and go to tools. This brings up the milling tools menu. In here are the different types of tools that Bobcad uses. The majority of the tool paths use end mill rough or end mill finish though. So this is where you'll need to set up the majority of your tools. Now there's an add button. We'll go ahead and add a new tool. Notice that we're on tool 1, end mill rough, and that we can select any of the tools that are already in the library and modify them. Let's add a new one. So we'll go to add. You'll see what it does is it adds a new number. This is just a system number here. It's number 26 in end mill rough. That's not the tool number for your machine. And now we'll fill out the tool label. This will be your description of tool that you can select the tool by. Let's say that we're going to use a half inch two flute Actually, we'll say three flute carbide insert. So this is the name that we'll see when we grab the tool. We'll say that this is half inch, it has three flutes, and let's say on the machine it's tool number two. So this tool number is what the database uses or Bobcad uses for outputting in your code we'll say it has a zero corner radius. Now the flute length and overall length affect only the simulation. So if you don't fill these out, what will happen is your tool will be set up by Bobcat for the length in the simulation. Let's say that we have a flute length of three quarters of an inch and overall length of three inches. We'll then come down here and choose OK. Now when we come to our tool path, you'll see when we go to select tool that now we have a tool that has the carbide insert or the tool that we had just set up. We have to click on the system number, then choose OK, and it will bring all these this information from the database into the feature. And we can choose OK and compute the tool path. Now while using system tool though, there has to already be a tool in there for Bobcad to look for. If there isn't, what it will do is it will create one with some generic values. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's say that we want to use a inch and an eighth tool. I'm pretty sure I don't already have one of these in the database. So then when we choose OK and we come up to our milling tools and go to tools, we'll see in end mill rough it should have just added a tool that's inch and an eighth. Now we can go ahead and fill out the description for it. So I'll say 1.125 diameter carbide insert. And we'll say two flute. Now this is just your description. You can make this name anything that you want it to be. Now when we come back to our toolpath, we'll see that we edited the tool that was selected so you could see the description up here. Now as well if we add another tool path and if that's an available tool when we select that inch and an eighth on diameter while using system tool it looks in the database for a tool having that diameter and in this case it finds it. And that's how you set up your end mills or your tools in Bobcad. That concludes this video.